shall we all lift up our voice to Jesus as we magnify him and celebrate him as God lift up your voice everyone everywhere you are connected celebrate the faithfulness and the loving kindness of God magnify him he is Alpha he is Omega there is no king like him there is no God like him there is no savior like him he is from the beginning he is the same he changes not give him praise give him glory exalt his name magnify him celebrate him adore him he is our father he is our savior he is our lord he is our god give him honor give him adoration give him praise say lord you are great lord you are good you are worthy to be praised blessed be your holy name father we give you all the adoration we worship you lord there is none who has the lord there is none besides thee neither is there anyone like our God there is none holy as the Lord there is no one there is none holy as the Lord there is none there is none besides thee Oh, neither is there are anyone like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. Just go ahead, lift up your voice and magnify him. There is none only like him. There is no God like him. There is no prince like God. There is no God like God. There is no Savior like Him. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be adored. Say something wonderful to God. Say something good to God. Celebrate His faithfulness. Celebrate His mercy. Celebrate His loving kindness. Celebrate Him as King. Celebrate Him as God. Celebrate Him as Lord. He is our Father. He has been there for you every day, every time. He is God. He remains the same. He cannot deny himself. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks and glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we worship. Amen. Now, still in the atmosphere and the attitude of prayer, I'd like you to understand that appreciation is a channel for the activation of uncommon blessings appreciation is a channel for the activation of uncommon blessings in psalm chapter 67 verse 5 to 7 psalm 67 verse 5 to 7 the bible says let the people praise thee O God let all the people praise thee verse 6 then shall the earth yield our increase and God even our own God shall bless us verse 7 God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him so by the reason of appreciation let the people praise him let all the people when all the people learns to be grateful when the people expresses appreciation it tears up the activation of uncommon blessings look at what the bible says here the lord shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him such a blessing that is not common such a blessing that is unusual is loaded in appreciation therefore I'd like you to lift up your voice everyone 
wherever you are listening and wherever you are connected from give god real outfelt deep and genuine appreciation from the bottom of your heart lift up your voice everyone everywhere you are give god praise give him honor give him adoration give him glory find a reason to be grateful express gratitude to him magnify his name say something good find a reason thank him for life thank him for the things that are working for you thank him for the things that he has promised to do that you are yet to see the manifestation thank him for what you know he is able to make up on when you thank god for his might you will enjoy his power when you thank god for his might you enjoy his power thank him for what you know he can do he can make up on in you he can make up on for you lift up your voice god has been faithful god has been there even in the midst of turbulence where nothing was working where everything is not producing give god praise he is worthy when we thank him enough we enjoy more of him blessed be your holy name father we give you glory and praise in jesus precious name we give thanks amen now riding on the wings of revelation from that scripture psalm chapter 67 now verse 6 and 7 he said the earth shall yield that increase god even our own god shall bless us verse 7 said god shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him so the kind of blessing that god will bless us will reach towards the end of the earth it will draw the heart of men to god and i want you to pray because such order of blessing is your portion i see god today releasing to you and over your family this order of blessing that will make all the ends of the earth to fear him to come to the recognition of his ability to make something happen that is beyond humanity therefore i want you to lift up your voice and pray this prayer say father today on the altar of prayer transform my life by your blessing in the name of jesus christ transform my life through your blessing transform my life with your blessing transform my life Transform my life through your blessing. By the operation of your blessings. Transform my life. Such order of blessing. That will make me a showroom of your glory. The order of blessing. That will make me a showroom of your power. My father, my father. Bless me in such a way. That men will come. To the recognition of your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Release upon me. Blessings that cannot be revoked blessings that cannot be resisted blessings that cannot be cancelled in the precious name of jesus christ play down the blessing pray down the blessing you have thanked him you have expressed gratitude then it is your turn it is your turn for the release let the blessing come over my life it is the blessings of god that is the cure for the sorrows and the curses of life the blessings of god is the cure and the destroyer of the curses and the sorrows of life for the blessings of the lord make it rich and it added no so it had no sorrow lift up your voice and pray by your blessing turn my life around by your blessing turn my situation around in the name of jesus christ engage the power of prayer to stir up the manifestation of blessing oh god like Dabesh prayed oh that thou will bless me indeed pray that prayer on the altar of prayer today oh that thou will bless me indeed make the altar of prayer of today to be a platform for my blessing for irresistible blessing for unstoppable blessing over my life in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father blessed be your holy name in jesus precious name we pray now i declare by the power of god in the name that is above every other name the blessings of god that turn sorrows to joy may god release upon your life in the precious name of jesus i decree 
the supernatural, undeniable, uncommon release of God's blessings upon your life today in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory. We celebrate you for such as you always do. Thank you for this season. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for what you have promised to do that you are yet to do. Because you are not a man that you should lie, surely you will perform. To you be the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, today on the altar of prayer, manifest your power. Manifest your glory. Manifest your grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bless your people indeed. The order of blessing that terminates sorrow. The order of blessing that humiliates causes. The order of blessing that turns affliction to celebration. Let it be released today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let everyone listening by any means all over the world enjoy the supernatural release of your blessings. Turn their lives around by blessing. Turn situations around through blessing. Let nothing be withheld from anyone today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your name, Father, Lord. All the glory belongs to you. Lord, release utterance today. Let there be revelation. Let there be confirmation. Let no word fall to the ground. Blessed be your name, my, my Father. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. And all the people say amen. Amen. All right, glory be to God. I'm excited today because God has sent me today with a life-transforming prophetic mantle. There are people listening to me today by the power of God. What you have struggled with for long, get ready. Today is their expiration day. I'd like you to approach prayer today with a, the mind of coming out finally. The mind of stepping out of the things that have held you down a long time. I want you to approach prayer today with the mind of God. Something must happen because you can make it happen for me. I want to welcome you specially to this encounter today. Um, by the grace of God, we shall be praying on what I've entitled Defeating Stubborn situations defeating stubborn situations i'd like you to understand that stubborn situations are situations that has refused to go situations that has refused to eat to everything that is done to make it stop stubborn situations are situations that are on assignment number one to stagnate when someone is under the old of stubborn situations they want to stagnate you what you ought to see you will see what you ought to enjoy you won't enjoy stubborn st situations waste time stubborn situation waste energy stubborn situations will waste resources many times when people deal with stubborn situation it makes them look as if there is no god it makes them keep putting in effort and energy and lo and behold nothing is working Stubborn situation is on assignment number two to delay manifestation. Stubborn situation is on assignment to delay manifestation. Manifestations that are supposed to have come on time. Stubborn situation will block them. Stubborn situation will hinder the manifestation from coming to pass. And finally, stubborn situation is on assignment to destroy. There are many destinies that have been terminated or because of the operation of stubborn situations or what we call stubborn adversaries stubborn situations are situations that refuse to end on time they want to elongate their period they want to make sure that they deal with their victim totally to the end that nothing is able to work again in their life but today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth you shall gain victory and triumph from the hand of stubborn situations stubborn powers stubborn battles stubborn authority stubborn enemy stubborn adversary that has vowed that your life will not have meaning today in the name of jesus christ 
Jesus of Nazareth, God will deal with them. That stubborn sickness in your body, that stubborn affliction, you have used every medication. Doctors said they could not find anything. Someone is listening to me right now. There is a stubborn ailment that is, is has been battling. When it goes, it comes again. When it goes, it comes again. By the word of the Lord today, Ezuka Parada Sekeledushka. Today it is going to end and die forever. That stubborn sickness, that stubborn affliction, that stubborn attack, including the attacker, they come under divine arrest now in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Prayer flow, defeating stubborn situations. Now let's take our scripture that will guide us to pray. Mark chapter 5. We pray from verse 25 to verse 30. Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to verse 30. The Bible says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years, and he had suffered, she had suffered many things, things in plural, of many physicians. Physicians also in plural. That means the woman has suffered so much. That's what they call extreme suffering. Now, and the Bible says, and she has spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Mm, verse 27. When she heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his gar is cloth, I shall be old. And straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. You will be healed today. Everyone sick under the sound of my voice. No matter when and how long that sickness is, has been. You are going to be free today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, the Bible says in verse 30. And Jesus immediately knew in himself that virtue has gone out of him hallelujah turned him about in the press and said who touched my cloth on the altar of prayer today somebody is going to touch jesus your prayer will touch his garment your voice will draw man will draw virtue and mantle out of his body in the precious name of jesus christ now let's pray our prayer direction, like I've said, defeating stubborn situations. When you look at verse 25 and the story of this woman, you will see how stubborn situation turned this woman into a nobody. Bible says she spent all she had, so she had some things. But this stubborn situation practically dealt with her and made her a nobody. She had been suffering for it for 12 years. And we are going to pray from verse 25. I saw the Bible introduce this woman to us without a name, but they were she had a issue of blood for 12 years. It doesn't matter your own issue. Every issue always have a solution. Every issue has a virtue that can deal with it in the kingdom of God. The Bible says for 12 years, she was fighting the same problem. For 12 years, she was battling the same problem. I don't know who you are. The revelation I saw from here is that there are long-term issues that must come to an end. Long-term problem in your marriage. Long-term circumstances. You have waited long time, but the thing is not happening. You have been there long time. You are waiting for something long time approval for long time sickness for long time even if it is for day it is a long term thing there are things that are supposed to have ended but they are still taking place in your life there are things you're supposed to have received but you are still waiting for them you have been in a situation long time enough is enough today this woman had her own for 12 years but one day it came to an end it doesn't matter how long a problem has been there is always a one day that it comes to an end today is that one day for you therefore lift up your voice and pray this prayer with me say in the name of jesus every long-term issue in my my life in my family troubling my destiny your time is up come to an end now 
in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and begin to pray that prayer. Every long term issue in my life, every long term problem, every long term challenge, every long term delay, every long term sickness in my life that is tormenting my family, tormenting my life, tormenting my destiny. Enough is enough. Come to an end today. What are you waiting for? Your time is up. Come on, speak right now. Come on, proclaim and declare. It is your day. It is your turn. Ishikalido. Empridilada. Makude breduskete. Ayana Shagadi. Long term issue must end. Long term problem must end. Long term sorrow must end. Every long term affliction must end. This woman was battling with it for 12 years, but it came to an end. Today it must come to an end. Today it must come to an end. Long term trouble in my life. Long term barrenness come to an end. Long term frustration come to an end. Oh my God, my God, my God. A zigalado, zigalada, in keledus, karabado, zelebedusa. Press the button of prayer very well. It must hear you today. It must hear the voice of God in your mouth. It must hear the voice of God. That long term delay must hear. That long term stagnation must hear. Is sataligodosh and pilidanamela. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I decree by the word of the law. This woman was battling with it for twelve years, but one day the termination came. Today, in the name of Jesus, may God terminate every long-term shame in your life, every long-term trouble, every long-term reproach. There is a family listening to me, trusting God for the fruit of the womb a long term. I see your baby deliver right now. Your time has come. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every long-term trouble, every long-term frustration, every long-term failure, a woman is listening to me. You have been sitting for this examination over and over again and you have been coming back with a negative report it has been a long time it's super regular you are supposed to have moved away from there but you are still held down there he had the voice of his majesty Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that long-term failure to come to an end. I command it to cease in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Psalm chapter 46 and verse 9, the Bible says, God maketh war to cease. Psalm 46 verse 9, He maketh war to cease. Even unto the end of the earth, He breaketh the bow. He cuts the spear in sunder. He burned the chariot with fire. Every long term issue come to an end now. Come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord that maketh war to cease, I command that war, marital war, financial war, spiritual war, war against your future, war against your settlement. Ay, ay, ay. I command it to cease now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command that war to cease. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The woman had a long term issue, 12 years. A, a 12 years old baby or a 12 year old young boy is supposed to be achieving something in the journey of life but for 12 years she was nursing the same problem she was handling the same problem a cigaladosh in peligaladi a teligalagada there is someone listening the lord said to me right now that there have been a medical judgment over your life concerning a particular ailment god doctors have said that is how you are going to manage it till you die because is uncurable. You can't come out from here. But I hear the voice of God. Is there no bomb in Gilead? He can like a Is there no bomb in Gilead? Esukananta. Esukalanta. Why then is the affliction of my daughter not cured? Therefore I have come enacting activating and steering up the manifestation and activation of the bomb in Gilead to heal you now. That long term affliction is gone now. It command I command it to cease in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are coming out whatever will not allow you to come out. I release judgment upon their life. Whatever will not allow you to enjoy the best of life. I release judgment upon their life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We are still praying. Defeating stubborn situations. When you continue in that scripture, 
looking at verse 26 the bible says this woman has suffered many things the things was in plural it's in plural for many physicians in plural let me stop there for us to pray i saw that this long-term situation is not just normal the issue of blood of this woman is not ordinary and somebody is saying how did i know i knew because these same physicians that must have treated some people they must have treated some people probably having a, a worse situation than us and god will have i mean one way or the other medications will have healed them but this particular woman medication could not undo her own because there was something behind it that was why it, it a situation needed a divine intervention for it to come to an end Actually, actually provisions could not handle her own oh medication could not handle her own injection could not handle her own every x-ray whatever could not handle her own they might not even have performed a surgery but it could not oh my god it was not enough to handle a case because a case has a force that was operating the eye can i say something ladies and gentlemen stethoscope cannot discern demon there is no way a test stethoscope can identify demon when a person is using medication for a demonic attack it's just going to be worsening it that's why the bible says the situation was getting worse because what was happening to her was not based on medic it's not medical it's not medical it's a it's an operation an operation of certain forces there was a force behind this operation everything operating in life there is always a force behind it that was why this woman needed something that will come from jesus to handle our own situation what am i saying in essence there are some long-term situations that you experience that are not normal there is always a force behind every long-term problem every long-term affliction every long-term situation always have a long-term adversary every long-term situation is always bad there is something sponsoring it in the invisible world therefore you want to pray because until this woman encounter the power from on high ay, ay, ay. the power from above a situation could not come out of her you are going to pray many people have been doing much they have been using mental capacity using everything humanly possible to come out from situations that are that looks that looks normal but they have not been able to come out many have not been able to get married because a spell has been casted over their generation a spell has been casted over their life many could not settle down they could not give back to children because some operations in the spirit world is troubling them some people are in prison of life today because somebody somewhere has enacted a covenant upon their life there are things happening to people that is beyond this natural world but you got to deal with them with with supernatural forces therefore you are going to lift up your voice and pray this prayer say in the name of jesus every force and power sponsoring the sufferings and the stubborn situations of my life be arrested now in the name of jesus christ every force every power every authority everything anything anywhere that is sponsoring the stubborn situations of my life sponsoring the sufferings of my life anything behind the challenges i've been passing through come on lift up your voice you identify the stubborn situation that you are passing through command the power that is operating behind the scene to come under divine arrest now release judgment upon them release fire ay, ay, ay. somebody is not praying very well come on pray that prayer this is your liberating hour they must not continue they must not continue he, he, he frustrate the tokens of liar he make a divine as mad ay, ay. Also, Kabarada, their their terror is over. Their operation is over. Their system is over. Every power behind my failure, every power behind your barrenness, every power behind your stagnation, every power behind your marital frustration. Come on, declare they are under arrest now. The fire of the Holy Ghost to burn in their camp. Every satanic gathering, Imasuka Paradazela, every stubborn enemy, every stubborn adversary every stubborn power that says i will not come out from their hand i release judgment upon them in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray in luke chapter 13 verse 11 to 13 
Jesus got into a temple and she saw a woman that had been bound for 18 years and she he identified that it was Satan that bound that woman. Imagine for 18 years a woman was under the oppression of the devil and nobody could dis 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 discover and the woman kept uh, it was, she was kept under this bondage until the power from on high came to her rescue. That was a stubborn situation that was sponsored by a stubborn devil. I don't know what is behind your own situation, but I have come today as a messenger of a good news by this apostolic mantle and authority. I proclaim and I declare every power behind the troubles of your life, every power behind that stubborn situation, that stubborn sickness, that stubborn marital circumstances, that stubborn, that stubborn financial crisis, that stubborn matrimonial crisis, everything that has refused to eat, to, to prayer, and your fasting. Today, the fire of the Lord is coming upon them. Let God arise and let all his enemies scatter. May God arise on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. May God arise on your own behalf today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, glory be to your name. We are still praying, defeating stubborn situations. When you look at that verse 26, still where we are, Mark chapter 5, verse 26. The Bible says that this woman suffered many things from many physicians and she spent all that she had on this situation, but she was not getting better, rather she was growing worse. Number two thing I saw about stubborn situation is that stubborn situations many times, they are resources wasters. They waste resources. They waste energy. They waste good things. This woman spent everything she had made in her life everything she had labored for in her life they were wasted on this one problem one problem turn her into a loser i know by the voice of the law anyone under my sound today whatever will take place in your life that will bring you into union i command them today to evict I, I raise a standard against their operation in the precious name of jesus christ i decree there is no room for them in your life there is no room for them in your family there is no room for them in your business in the name of jesus christ so this woman spent all she had on this one stubborn problem therefore you are going to pray and lift up your voice because stubborn situations they are resources waster say stubborn situations and problems in my life wasting my resources enough is enough come to an end today stubborn situations of my life that is wasting my resources wasting my energy every stubborn situation wasting what's supposed to advance me come and declare enough is enough come to an end right now by the power of god come to an end command that stubborn situations to come to an end it has been there a while enough is enough time has come for the stubborn situation to end expire a sigalosh man de kalida ha en sin de la dia e kele galado e peli de nagila stop on situations of my life he had the voice of the lord expire 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 ha 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 pray that prayer very well expire today every stop on situation wasting my resources wasting my time wasting my days wasting my energy wasting my effort that has made every effort i'm making rather than making progress they are drawing me backward stop on situation putting me backward stubborn situation wasting my finances i pray today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that affliction in your body that you have been spending money on over and over again yet it is not going i command them today to expire by the voice of the law the stubborn situation i command them to come down in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father i decree by the voice of the law the bible says this woman rather than for her to be getting better she was growing worse 
all because of one problem that came to her therefore today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every stubborn situation in your life that has made you to be down that has made you lose resources that has made you lose out of relationship you have lost good things in life i command those situations to come to an end in the name of jesus christ now you are going to pray i believe that when this woman was healed all that she had lost also was restored because when god works on you he works on you unto perfection when god works on you he works on you unto perfection and that was why when jesus asked who touched me and the woman came to say i am the one jesus made the proclamation in verse 34 she said go in peace and be made whole so when she was made whole all that she had lost also must have been restored therefore i want you to pray this prayer very well say oh lord my god by your power restore back to me every good thing and resources that i have lost because of stubborn situation every good thing you have lost because of stubborn situation every resources come and place a demand for their restoration place a demand for their restoration the restoration of every good thing that i have lost restoration of your favor restoration of your health whatever you have lost your finances your savings your joy your peace oh your sanity anything you have lost every good resources everything that should make life better that stubborn situation has stolen or has destroyed i command them restored i command them restored they are restored back to you thank you heavenly father glory be to your holy name in jesus precious name the bible says rather than for her to be betting better she was growing worse everything that should be working in your life that stubborn situation has brought to a place of perpetual disappointment today may god revive them they will walk the way they're supposed to walk your finances are restored in the name of jesus christ of nazareth someone is listening to me you have been spending money on this particular thing the same project and yet you are not seeing the traces of what you are spending the money is not showing the thing is not yet working i speak as an oracle and as i hear today in the name of jesus christ no more wasted days no more wasted resources no more wasted labor no more wasted effort your parate sin kalinananda from today your wasted resources are restored everything you have lost to stop on situations and battle what you have lost your 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 life that has been wasted your sanity your dignity your honor your glory that has been lost because of stubborn situation is restored thank you heavenly father now pray this one more prayer pray this one more prayer and i want you to pray very well I want you to pray very well i realize that for the situation of this woman to be over something needed to come out from the master the bible says when the woman touched virtue came out and when virtue came out the fountain of her blood dried off immediately she was delivered from the stubborn situation of 12 years and it's taught on me that for every situation of life there is always a divine virtue for every issue there is a virtue for every battle there is a virtue virtue came out from jesus and when we talk about virtue we are talking about power that conquer power that solves power that, that brings something to an end power power that does something that is virtue virtue came out solution came out hallelujah for your battle there is a virtue for your own issue there is also a virtue therefore you are going to cry until your virtue comes the issue may remain but when the virtue came to this woman the issue disappeared lift up your voice and pray this prayer say father today release the divine virtue that will deliver me from stubborn battles let it come my way today let it come my way divine virtue that will deliver me from stubborn virtue from stubborn battle divine virtue 
<coughs> deliver me from this issue as for that virtue let it come out from heaven whatever must come from god whatever from must come from heaven to deliver me from the problem i'm facing on the earth let it be released let it be released let it come to me today let it visit me today let it come into my life whatever i need what the situation i'm passing through need from heaven let it come oh lord let it be released today let it come my direction thank you heavenly father blessed be your holy name in jesus precious name i decree today by the power of god that every stubborn situation he has the word of God now in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and I declare. The Bible says, and when the woman touched the hem of his garment, instantly the issue dried off, the fountain dried off. Whatever represents the fountain, the origin, the source, and the channel where your own situation is coming from, I command it to dry whatever must dry off in your life so that you can rise up and take your place i command them to dry off right now the fountain of your delay the fountain of your challenges the fountain of your marital circumstances the fountain the source of the challenge wherever it is coming from in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i command them to dry off now a new season and when jesus saw her the Bible says she told her, you are made old, go in peace. Everyone under the sound of my voice. The same way virtue came from Jesus and ended the issue in this woman's life. I will declare the release of virtue in your direction from above right now. Virtue for marital problem comes your way now. Virtue for settlement. Virtue that will bring you out from that legal case. Virtue that will bring you out from joblessness. The virtue that will bring you out from stagnation is released now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is Mandro Pisketele Indilia, Mama Cabara do Secredos in Trilia, Masaka Paradada, Ilin Vatu right now, Financial Batu now, Breakthrough Vatu is coming upon you, Vatu for restoration, Vatu for promotion, Vatu for lifting, it is released. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lift up your voice, stop all situations are over, stop all situations are defeated, stop all situations are humiliated, rise up and take your place, rise up and shine possess your possession go and get married go and give back to your children go and get that better job come out from that prison come out from that case oh my god get the restoration of your dignity take what belongs to you rise higher go forward make progress bless be the name of the lord lift up your voice and give him praise Give him glory. Stop all situations are over. It's a new season for you. A new season. A new season. Blessed be your name, Father Lord. Write down the prayer for the week. Write down the prayer for the week. And this week you are going to pray. Say, Father, this week, trouble the troubles of my life. Trouble the troubles of my life. And I believe God, as you pray this prayer, every trouble in your life, and everything that has troubled you either too, God troubles them. In the name of Jesus Christ, the trouble of your life is in trouble. And by the reason of that, you are gaining victory. You are rising higher. You are rising all in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise. And we give you glory. Oh, we celebrate you. Thank you, Agent of Days. In Jesus' precious name. Oh, what an awesome encounter. I want to welcome everyone that is joining and connecting for the first time today. You are blessed of the Lord in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, right before we share the goodness, this prayer encounter holds every Tuesday. We have two sections of prayer every Tuesday. The first section is 9 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And the second section is 11 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Central American time. You can be part of any of the sections. Surely you shall be blessed as you connect. And we are also privileged to have a 24 hours radio on the internet that you can listen to. The prayers are always transmitted live and is also broadcasting prayers 24 hours every day, anytime. And you can listen anywhere in the world. We are privileged we have uh, 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 app applications on all major devices right now 
we have an application on android if you are using an android device you can go to the google store or play store search for empowerment bringing radio empowerment bringing radio you will see the app there we actually have two there we will also have app on blackberry just go on your store and search for empowerment playing radio and for everyone that is using iphone and ipad you can also search for the application on itunes on itunes and when you search for it you can download it and you shall surely be blessed as you do so in the precious name of jesus now you can also listen on our website www.prayingradio.org prayingradio.org i pray the lord over you that all these channels will be a channel of blessing for you in the precious name of jesus christ now i also want to encourage you to share this link with your friend tell somebody about the prayer line every tuesday invite a friend invite somebody be a channel of blessing and rescue to someone in situations of life that you can be a channel through which god will bring them out of the circumstances be a channel of blessing and definitely the lord will bless you and reward you as you do so in the precious name of jesus christ now the prayer for the week is that god will trouble your trouble and you are going to pray that prayer with psalm 24 you are praying the prayer that is the psalm for the week psalm 24 as you pray with the psalm i declare god will honor your prayer and you shall surely return with the testimony in the precious name of jesus christ now if for any reason you want to get in touch with me you can call me directly on this number 972 639 1762 972 639 1762 and if you are calling from outside of the united states please do put plus one you can find me on whatsapp you can find me on viber and um, you can also find me on uh, all the major uh, social media platforms so in case you might not be able to call you might be able to connect via those platforms i pray the lord over your life as you go the lord bless you the lord lift you up the Lord give you a reason to rejoice and celebrate. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in peace and return with gladness. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Let us together share the goodness in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and message are for us all the days of our lives. And we all shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen if you believe that you are returning with a testimony shout the loudest hallelujah the lord bless you it is well with you in the precious name of jesus christ go in peace Thank you for listening to this revelational and prophetic message by Pastor Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center. We know you've been blessed. Come worship with us for more life-transforming messages at the Empowerment Center. 838 Secretary Drive, Arlington, Texas, 76015 USA. Visit our 24 hours radio, www.prayingradio.org.